I'm here with Dr. Longnecker today from Heber Valley Clinic, and we're talking about the Depo shot. Um, it's a popular form of contraception, but a lot of people have questions about it. So tell us how effective it is and how exactly it prevents pregnancy. So the Depo shot can be very, very effective. It needs to be dosed every three months, essentially. And as long as you stay caught up and get those shots, those injections on a regular basis, it's, it's very effective. The problem is we see some of the failure rate associated with the shot come because people aren't prompt as far as getting back into their doctor to see them to get the shot administered. So make that next appointment when you leave the appointment you're at. Exactly. It's probably a good piece of advice. Um, I read a study once that showed that you can return to a fertile state within 14 to 15 weeks, hence the recommendation to come back at 12 to 13 weeks. Exactly. And so the shot should provide pretty good um, contraception all the way through 14 weeks. But we, there's a little buffer zone, so we say, mm -hmm. let's do it at 13 weeks, let's do it at that three-month mark, just to make sure that you're covered and that an unwanted pregnancy doesn't occur during that two-week interval there. And when is it typically given? Like, um, say I'm getting a depo shot for the first time, do you like to give it during the period, shortly after, to ensure the woman's not pregnant when you administer it? So whenever we administer the shot, we should definitely make sure that you're not pregnant, whether that's a urine pregnancy test or a blood draw, or if you've just had a period. And so a good time to administer it is one of the first five days of your period. And how long does it take for it to be effective? Usually I counsel my patients to use backup birth control for one to two weeks, meaning use a condom over that first short interval, and then you should be good. So what if you were to take, say, a urine pregnancy test and it was negative, but it was a little bit too early to tell? Everyone, for all intents and purposes, thought you weren't pregnant, but you got the injection and found out later that you were. Is it going to affect the pregnancy? It shouldn't have any adverse effects on the pregnancy. Um, as soon as you find out that you're pregnant and let's say you had the shot eight weeks ago or something like that, make sure you just get into your provider, let them know that that's what happened, but the pregnancy should be fine. So after getting the depo shot, what, what bleeding changes can you expect? So the goal of depo provera is to eventually kind of chase your periods away. That's, that's, that's a desired side effect. That is what we would like. Unfortunately, with depo provera, a lot of the time those periods might go away, but you have inner menstrual bleeding or breakthrough bleeding that's happening at kind of unregulated times and it's a, a surprise. Exactly. And so that's one of the biggest complaints that I see in my office about depo provera injections is that it's just hard to plan and because you could have this bleeding at any, any moment. So is it more normal to have this breakthrough unscheduled bleeding during the first few months or does, the, does it decrease with more injections and as time goes on? It does decrease as you get more and more injections and you continue to follow up regularly every three months and get those injections on a scheduled basis usually that bleeding gets better and better and better and could eventually go all, away altogether. So if you're willing to stick through it, it could be good in the end, but a little rough in the beginning. Exactly. You have some patience, and that's with all forms of birth control. Be patient at first, let your body make the adjustments, give it a few months, and then talk to your provider and keep them in the loop about what's happening with your cycles and your bleeding so that you can develop a plan together as far as what's going to work best for you and what your desires are. So say I've been using the depo shot for a while, um, I've gotten multiple injections, but now I want to have a baby. How long is it going to take for my body to return to a fertile state? So again, because we recommend that it's done every 13 weeks, there is that possibility that 14, 15 weeks after your previous injection, you could become pregnant. So you could return to fertility very early. However, with most people, that's not the case. Depo Provera is associated with a little bit longer interval to fertility. One study mentioned that um, at 10 months of trying after that depo has been discontinued, about 50% of the people are able to get pregnant during that interval, and out to a year, maybe about 70%. But it's usually associated with a little bit longer return than some of the other birth control methods. So that helps you kind of plan. If you if you knew that you wanted to have a baby, like the end of this year, it might be good to stop yeah. getting your last injection earlier in the year and it plan might for help, that. But then you might just be lucky enough to get You're pregnant right. right away. You need to plan on that. And there are some factors that affect how quickly your body will return to a fertile state. It's not necessarily how many injections you've gotten. It's actually your body mass index, correct? Exactly. People who have a higher body mass index or a higher weight 
they are usually associated with a longer return to fertility as to those people who are a little bit more fit or trim usually return to fertility a little bit quicker. So if you want to return to a fertile state faster and you've got a few extra pounds, you may, if you, if you lose it, you could return to fertility faster. Good advice. And if you don't want to be pregnant right away, but you're planning for that baby down the road, you could stop the Depo Provera and then use another short-acting form of contraception in the meantime that does have a quicker return to fertility rate. So there are some types that can overlap with it and that's fine. Exactly. Or even things like condom use could be used temporarily to, to make sure you get that December baby or whatever yeah. it is you're shooting for. <laughs> right. If I wanted to use this form of contraception when I'm breastfeeding, is that possible? It is possible. In fact, a lot of the time when we send moms home from the hospital, they get a depo injection right there in the hospital or in our clinic as soon as they're, they're on their way out the door. Well, that's convenient. It's very convenient. However, we still recommend not having any intercourse over that first four to six week interval while you're... There's other reasons other than preventing pregnancy, is, right? Exactly. You need to let your body heal. Exactly. But um, Dabo Provera can be used throughout the breastfeeding period. Well, that is such helpful information. Thank you so much for being with us today. And if you guys have questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.